My name is JT, and this is a story how I built my camper van. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of JT Time. JT here. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and install the AC unit for this van. Uh, it's going to be installed right next to my Max Air Fan Deluxe. Let's jump right into it, and like all the other videos, let's go ahead and start off first with the tools that we'll need. All right, guys, so the tools that you will need is uh, a drill, a um, uh, Phillips bit, and also a 10 millimeter uh, bit as well for the, for the actual bolts that mount, that mount the AC to the faceplate. Um, this is the breakdown. When you buy the AC unit, it, uh, it only comes with the actual AC unit itself. You do need the controller. Uh, which is a completely separate component for the unit and this controller essentially has four bolts that screw into the AC unit so what we're gonna do is we're gonna build out a box that pretty much receives this little fitting right here and then that will allow us to put this on the roof and screw this right into it so it's a little bit different than the max air fan actually now that I've sat down and talked about it with my with my uh, brother-in-law uh, regarding how to install this thing and uh, just for your information, the unit that we have is a, um, it's a, I don't know how to pronounce that, Furon Chill 14.5K rooftop unit. And I just got the compatible uh, controller that's with it. There's only one. I'll link, I'll provide a link in Amazon of the exact parts that I build. But uh, the key thing that you do need to know is you do need some 2x4s to build out the box to accept this because you can see here there's a gap here that you need to clear. So you, you know that my roof with the corrugated steel or corrugated aluminum, whatever it is, it's about 3 8 of an inch. So I still need to build out the rest of this. So uh, the wood that we're going to cut is going to be 2 and a half inches. Uh, we're going to strip down some cedar plank or cedar 2x4 with it and then we'll go ahead and uh, build out the box for this. So let's go ahead and start doing that real quick. Okay guys, so before we go up on top of the roof and continue working, I just wanted to break down what I did. Uh, the box is actually um, 14 inches by 14 inches. Uh, so these inside pieces right here, that's just 14 inches. Um, and then the exterior, all it is is just 14 plus the thickness of two of these boards. And these boards each were about uh, one inch and like seven eighths of an inch or something like that so i just ended up doing three and a half inches so i did 17 and a half inches for the these longer runs to connect the box all together and it's it gives a little bit of room of movement for this which is kind of what i wanted but what we did earlier what you were watching on the time lapse was we were fit testing it so essentially we were thinking okay so this is going to sit on top of the roof there's going to be a little bit of metal this gasket's going to sit against the bottom side of that roof and then this box is going to fit right on top of that and then this is going to receive this piece of metal right here essentially this piece of metal now that we're ready to do that i'm going to go ahead and go up there trace this out with the sharpie and cut it out uh, and the key is i want to make sure that this is still hanging on top of the van so i want to make sure this box is set far enough forward to where i can still set this on top of the van and it's not hanging off the back as you notice i want both my vent and my AC on the back side where we're gonna be sleeping. That's kind of where I wanna focus the AC at. So, all right, let's uh, get on top of the van and get this, get this done. All right guys, so we're back here at the end of the episode. Uh, some things to note that 
I would recommend is we put a little gasket here on this lip. We also have another gasket here. So there's gasket here, gasket here to pretty much keep everything really, really airtight. Uh, the seam of this wood is sealed because I use wood glue there. Um, so that's sealed as well. So it's all one complete channel. If you go to the very top, what we did was we actually, when we unscrewed it, we lifted this up and put uh, liquid flash on it around the border to pretty much give it a complete seal. One thing that uh, you should know is that this is an RV unit. It's made for a flat roof. These roofs on this particular van are rigid. I think a lot of the other um, vans that get converted have this kind of cavity or valley in it as well. And these valleys are tricky to work with. You can either cut a piece of foam and hope that that foam seals it. But ultimately, even with that foam there, I wasn't confident. My brother-in-law wasn't confident either. We could still see light coming through uh, from underneath the van when you looked at the kind of this, when you looked at this profile right here, you could see light coming in. Uh, so we just went ahead and just liquid flash around all of that to create a nice kind of gasket or seal. Uh, something else to note is that um, the roof is kind of uneven here. So we did have to add or bump in a little bit of extra padding on this side to kind of help make sure that this was fully flush with the ceiling so it wouldn't bounce up and down as much. But this is kind of what it looks like from the inside. Um, something to note is when you do buy this cover, it receives this electric cable from the unit inside. So you just plug it in right here and then you notice there's no power cable. You have to unscrew this little box right here and then you just have a white, black, and ground cable. It's just, you know, think, think your um, 120 volt uh, AC kind of power cable that you just plumb right into this and then you plug that into an outlet pretty much in your, either in your inverter or a shore power, one or the other. Um, but for me, normally the way they do this is they'll send the cable through the actual cover. I'm just gonna screw a hole into here and send the cable out the side, the power cable out the side. That way I don't have a cable coming out of my pretty much vents and cover. Um, but that's for another video. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. hope you guys learned something and maybe you can uh, attack or try to attempt to install your own RVAC. All right, uh, I guess I'll see you guys real soon here on JT time.